Yeah. So how old is Curry? Curry's got to be 10 years older than Amber. God damn. And no, way better looking. I just want to make She looks sure 10 years younger. We all remember you're not board certified, correct? No, I'm oh, not. Geez. Okay. And you've been licensed for how long? I've been licensed for 10 years. Okay. And you are being paid by Mr. Depp's legal team. What we counters. How much have you charged so far? I actually don't know. Over a hundred thousand? I truly don't know. I don't do my own books. Over two hundred thousand? I don't know. Asked and answered. Over three hundred thousand? That would be way too much, but I do not know. You shouldn't have said that. Okay. Um, now, just so that we all remember, you had dinner at Mr. Depp's house. So ridiculous. At three to four hours. With Mr. Depp, Mr. Waldman, Mr. Chu, and Ms. Vasquez, correct? I was interviewed. I asked if there was anything I could eat because at about three hours I started to get hungry. Mr. Depp then offered to order takeout for the entire team. So you had dinner with at Mr. Depp's <laughs> home. What the fuck is this? Mr. Waldman, Mr. Chu, Ms. Vasquez, and Mr. Depp, correct? Yes. And you had drinks as well, correct? I actually don't know. I do remember that there were drinks. Do you recall testifying earlier that you did have a drink, a mule something? No, I remember a mule something. that there might have been a, a something mule. A Moscow <laughs> mule. Okay, thank you. We, we didn't have animals there as well, right? No animals. Okay, that's good to know. And, and you the, talked oh about God. transparency. Fuck you, look I want to make oh, sure. Boy. You had several... Uh, designations, expert designations and reports in this case, correct? Yes. And then not Didn't she learned that this made her look horrible the first time she asked those same you questions. You had dinner and drinks at Mr. Depp's house for three to four hours with Mr. Waldman, Mr. Chu and Ms. Vasquez. Is that correct? Ms. Bradhoff, oh. you're mischaracterizing what occurred. I, Dr. Curry, please answer the question. Not once did you disclose this in any of your reports. I did not correct? disclose that I was interviewed as that standard procedure. But it's true that you have never gone to a client's house to be interviewed for an expert witness position, correct? Yes, because I never had a client that was essentially homebound because of their celebrity status. All right. And and you talked to Mr. Depp for three to four hours uh, before taking on the role of assessing Ms. Hurd and deciding whether she was suffering from any distress, correct? I did not talk to Mr. Depp. I was talking to his legal team and he was there to observe. He was present for the three to four yes. hours. Oh, and are you saying now he just stayed silent and said nothing all, all day? I don't recall what he didn't or didn't do. I was answering questions. Okay. Now your expertise here is limited to whether Amber Heard suffers from PTSD currently. Is that correct? Yes, I was tasked with conducting an evaluation okay. to determine Ms. Hurd's mental you know, status. We're all on very, very strict time limitations. Okay. <laughs> this case to You're fucked up. So I really appreciate if you just answer my question rather than trying to go for sure. it. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, <laughs> after you did, had the dinner, you then provided the designation in February of 2021. In which you said, and this is long before the you saw Amber Heard, correct? You said that Amber Heard, quote, exhibits patterns of behavior that are consistent with co occurring cluster B personality disorder traits, especially borderline personality disorder, end of quote, correct? No. No, you, we went through this before. <laughs> we did. But, and, and that was on the designation, was it not? I, I told you last time that I did not write that. Okay. And you don't know who did on the legal team, correct? No. Okay. And then I also asked you, if you may recall, whether you listened to the audio recording in which Mr. Depp taunted Amber heard that she had a borderline personality disorder. Do you recall that? I recall you asking me that, yes. Did you recall listening to that audio tape? I don't recall Mr. Depp taunting Ms. Heard. I do recall that he at some point suggested she might have that diagnosis. Okay. And that was back in these audio tapes back when they were together, correct? Yes. Okay. Now you've never before been asked to testify or serve as an expert with respect to someone who has bipolar disorder, correct? No, as I previously stated, that's not true. All right. All that, all that noise about no time. 
Yeah, yeah. she's the one wasting the time. Johnny's right. comeback uh, movie should be a remake of Silence of the Cats. <laughs> they already did this. Uh, she already testified about this. I don't remember her exact answers, but uh, I think uh, it was some something to do with like a distortion of what she answered at her uh, deposition testimony to make it sound like she's never, never done this. Oh, she's never testified. I think for someone with bipolar, but she has been consulted as an expert witness. It just maybe didn't go to trial or something like that. But you can imagine that she's already got her answer prepared for this because she knew it would come back. And she's so but smart. Elaine, she's so Elaine is here to make things, I think, even worse. Uh, you mentioned her age. Uh, I did a little sleuthing and found um, that she appears to be 42 years old. Yeah. Okay. Curry is 42? So, yes. And looks way better than Amber. The glasses, they came on. Drink. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Everyone take nervous oh, sips. Yes. Oh. oh. Two, correct? Yes. Wow. And you were under oath at that time, correct? Yes. And the question I just showed you on page 207, line five, have you ever been asked to testify or serve as an expert with respect to whether someone has bipolar disorder? And your answer at that time was no, correct? Yes. I had forgotten that case. Okay. And have you ever been asked to testify whether anyone has behavioral or characterological conduct that suggests they may be an IPV perpetrator? I can't. Yeah, I may have. It's difficult after about 250 cases it's difficult <laughs> specifically. All right. And have you ever been qualified as an expert in the area of IPV? No. And have you ever been qualified to testify as an expert in domestic abuse or violence? Violent. Oh, domestic abuse uh, or violence. Yes, that's been a component of testimony. So much for the time, huh? Yeah. You know she's diagnosed the shit out of Elaine during Everybody this sees through this this when Elaine tries to yeah. you know, present this in a certain way. Ooh. I mean, to nice everybody, shirt. it's Dr. Curry. Oh my God. Stop it. I can't. I can't right now. <laughs> I fucking can't with Curry right now. Chad's that, that's why that water bubble looks that way. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> what? What? Did somebody say something? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> No, you Jeff just texted. I was uh, I was like finishing nice eating, and Jeff just texted me, "Mommy," and I'm like, "Yes, I'm here." <laughs> Your answer on line twenty was no, under oath, correct? Then the next question: Have you ever been qualified to testify as an expert in domestic abuse or violence? That and goes into page two hundred eight, line four. The answer then under oath was no. Oh, okay. No. You're going to ask her to explain it? You would agree. No. Nope. The literature is quite clear that trauma based sy symptoms, such as PTSD or complex PTSD, have mm. symptoms that overlap with borderline personality disorder and histrionic personality disorder. Yes? Yes. Okay. And your client has all you of those. Agree that it's important to you. I keep abreast of the current measures literature. For an accurate diagnosis, correct? Absolutely. Okay. You chose, however, not to administer. The Structured Clinical Interview for DSM-5 Personality Disorders, the SCID. Is that correct? I did. Okay. And would you agree that that is a state-of-the-art structured clinical interview? Not for a forensic evaluation with a sophisticated examinee. But to determine if a personality <laughs> disorder is present. You no, not in this setting. You don't agree with that? I do not. And you don't agree that that is the gold standard assessment for reliable, accurate psychiatric diagnosis? It's a good one, but for treatment settings especially. Okay. Now, did Ms. Hurd, you said you talked about, you read all of the treatment records, right? Yes. Okay. Do you recall reading the treatment records for the psychologist Bonnie Jacobs, who saw Amber Heard over five years? I do. And did you see anything in Bonnie Jacobs' notes over five years in which she diagnosed Ms. Heard with borderline personality or histrionic personality disorder? No. Now, you also saw the notes of Dr. Con 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 Cohen, correct? Mm -hmm. And you even attended his deposition, correct? Yes. All right. And he saw Amber for roughly two years. He was part of the Dr. Kipper connection, mm -hmm. right? 
Yes. Correct? Okay. And did you see anything in Dr. Collins' notes? Um, and did he say in his deposition that he diagnosed Amber Heard with borderline personality disorder or histrionic personality disorder? I saw the symptoms clearly delineated throughout his notes and in his deposition. He does not use diagnoses, so he would not have diagnosed her. He said specifically in his deposition he did not diagnose her with that, correct? Yes, and he also specifically stated that he does not use diagnoses. <laughs> and you also have seen Dr. Banks, Dr. Amy Banks, the psychiatrist, her deposition, correct? Yes, and did, did Dr. Not Anderson, her deposition. I reviewed her notes in the transcript. All right. Did Dr. Anderson diagnose Ms. Heard with pers borderline personality disorder or is a histrionic personality disorder? I don't believe she pri provided any diagnosis since she was a couples therapist. All right. Who's Dr. Anderson? Now, you've said quite a bit about Don therapist. Hughes, oh, but okay. do you remember how many years of experience Don Hughes has in IPV and domestic abuse and violence? I know it's quite a bit. Extensive, and she is board certified, correct? Yes, she is. All right, and she spent 29 hours of examination with Amber Heard, she, did she not? Yes, mostly okay. interviewing. All right, and she admitted, and she interviewed her therapists, Bonnie Jacobs and Connie Cowell, correct? Yes. And she also interviewed Amber's late mother? Yes. Okay, and she administered 12 different tests over the period of that time, correct? Well, as I said, the majority of those were checklists, which are inappropriate for the forensic setting. I understand that's what mm -hmm. you say, but she administered 12 different tests, correct? If you want to qualify them as tests, sure. Okay. And so you did you disregard what it no, nah, I'm not even gonna say that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Caps five and PTSD. Now you assessed Ms. Heard's traumas in her life, correct? Uh Yes, I did uh, okay. give her an instrument to assess for any trauma exposure throughout the entire lifespan. Yes, yes, it's fine. And you wrote that Ms. Heard's exposure to a traumatic event, namely one of the sexual assaults by Mr. Depp, more than satisfied this requirement. Did you not write that in your notes? That is not what I wrote in my notes. Do you have my notes? So we and can you look administered at that? a stretch <laughs> interview based on that trauma, correct? Not exactly. It's not quite right. Okay. Now, Dr. Hughes administered a full intimate partner violence assessment, correct? That's not a psychological assessment. We can't assess for intimate partner violence. That's an event. Dr. Hughes administered a full intimate partner violence assessment, correct? She stated that, and that's actually something I'm rebutting today. Okay. And, and you reviewed her psychological testing? Correct? I sure did, yes. Okay. And I sure did. Are you aware that in September 2019, Ms. Heard had a trauma-based symptom on many of those valid tests. Um, can you be a little bit more specific? Many of those do valid you, tests, which tests are you talking about? Do you have a recollection of that, September 2019? She administered all of her testing in September 2019, so I'm not sure which one, oh, except for the CAPS-5, which was 10 days after mine in 2021. Now, Dr. Hughes clinically evaluated those symptoms and established that Ms. Heard does have PTSD from the totality of the intimate partner violence by Mr. Depp, correct? That's what she stated, yes. Okay. She's now, good at answering Dr. questions. Dr. Anderson's She's extremely good. It said Amber had come to Objection a hearsay. What, if any? Question, yeah, Your Honor. Are you going to read her notes? Well, let me, no, no, actually. You I were going to, going to her no. notes, no. that said. No, question. Not anymore. You talked about danger. Do you recall that in your testimony? Yes. All right. Now, if, if a, a patient comes to you as a couple's therapist mm -hmm. with two black eyes, would you assess there, that there may be a potential danger there? Sure. Okay. Did you read Dr. Anderson's notes? I believe I did. Now, you administered the Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory 2, the MMPI 2. Do you recall that? Yes. And you used that to determine whether Amber had PTSD, right? It, not by itself, but it was a part of the data. Okay. And in the 60 to 70 T-score range for that test, which, quote, Deliberate attempts to mislead are uncommon, common, end quote. Isn't that correct? Sorry, could you repeat that? In the T-score mm -hmm. section mm -hmm. of that, 
for which assesses deliberate attempts to mislead. Do you recall? She scored a 60 on that test, correct? So there are multiple T scores for each scale. So I'm not sure which scale you're talking about. Okay. Well, we can deal with that later. So yeah, you would later agree won't. That you need to follow <laughs> ethics and best practices in forensic psychology, correct? Yes. Okay. And the two primary sources are the American Psychological Association ethical principles and professional okay, code yeah. of conduct, right? Mm -hmm. And the American Psychological Association's specialty guidelines for forensic psychology, correct? Yes. And specialty guidelines 1.02 states that forensic practitioners quote, strive for accuracy, impartiality, fairness, and independence, correct? Yes. Okay. And specialty guidelines 1.03 states that you have to avoid a conflict of interest, correct? Yes. Now, in addition to not listing the four hours you've spent with Mr. Depp, Mr. Waldman, Mr. Chu, and Ms. Vasquez. It's not a conflict of interest, you also you did dumb not bitch. list that you spent an hour with Dr. Shaw, correct? That's incorrect. You, you well, come on, Elaine. Designation I, said that you spent During my deposition, I also clarified this. I didn't spend an hour with Dr. Shaw. There was an introduction with the attorneys present on Zoom. <laughs> my time on that call was less than 30 minutes. But you still didn't disclose it, did you, in your reports? No. Okay. Now, you are not, you have not been asked to testify about Ms. Hurd's behavior in the context of her relationship with Mr. Depp. Is that correct? I was asked to testify about somebody's behavioral mental status in general, so that can include behavior involved in a relationship with Mr. Depp, but not specifically. They're burning can, so much time on this. It's a brilliant move to put her in now. Uh, the trial testimony at page 2710. More time. It also shows just how damaging this testimony is to them, and they know it. Line, lines 12 through 18. It would be interesting to hear. Is that DUI guy right behind her on the, yep. the left? Yeah, that's DUI May guy. May we approach... It would be right. interesting to hear how uh, the jury was perceiving this, because that may be why Elaine's so frantic. You oh, know, the jury yeah. may have been really engaged by this testimony. I'm almost guaranteeing that they were. I mean, first of all, it was uh, it's Dr. Curry. She is look again, uh, all, all memes and jokes aside uh, about her attractiveness. She's just objectively a well presented person, like not not getting thirsty here. She just, she presents well, she's dressed yep. well, she speaks well, and she's very articulate and clearly very, very smart. The jury's going to listen to someone. She doesn't take a long time to answer questions. She doesn't drone. And this is critical information and it's early in the day, but not too early. Yeah. <laughs> Mid morning is perfect. And they may be listening even closer, trying to figure out why Elaine is going after her so hard when the answers seem sensible. They're just going to pay more attention to see if they're missing something. And then they're going to conclude they're not. Well, and every time she asked her, didn't you do or say this? And she says, no. Like, I mean, what? You, you need to have the follow-up question to have them explain it and know the answers in your favor. She just can't knock that. Curry off balance. Can't make her defensive. Okay. Yep. So, Dr. Curry, this is your testimony from day 10 in this case. And if you can oh, look the glasses. at page 2710. Um, hmm. Now, is it your, my question was, now is it your testimony under oath today that you have not been asked to testify concerning Ms. Hurd's behavior in the context of her relationship with Mr. Depp, including any abuse? And your answer under oath to this jury that day was, that's correct. Yes. Correct? I okay. still agree with that, to that question. All right. And you have not made any determinations, including any opinions, that Ms. Hurd abused Mr. Depp or Mr. Depp abused Ms. Hurd, correct? Correct. Okay, and, and in fact, you said that's outside the scope. Yes. Right? Okay. Of psychology. And you cannot testify whether Amber Heard suffered any emotional distress as a result of any of the defamatory comments that she has alleged Mr. Waldman made through Mr. Depp or Mr. Depp made through Mr. Waldman, correct? Objection, Your Honor. 
Do you want me to read my response? What's sure. Objection. I'm sorry. What I, oh, hold on, okay. Dr. Sorry. That's okay. Oh, what's the objection? You want to approach? Okay. Uh, let's see. Here we go. It'd be funny if uh, Dr. Curry gets the the uh, co star role in Aquaman three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and did they bring in Johnny Depp? Uh, one step. Uh, one step slash head. I think it's ahead. Could the Johnny Depp team introduce a copyright media expert that testifies that the copyright for the video could only have been sold by Johnny Depp, Amber Heard? Well, correction, only Amber Heard. And two, no, that's not an issue currently in this case. Three, it would be a giant waste of time and really boring no. for the jury. You have not rendered any opin opinion as to whether Amber Heard exhibits patterns of behavior that would suggest her allegations of abuse against Mr. Depp are false. Would you agree? No. I mean, yes, I would agree with that. <laughs> oh, Thank okay. you. And you have not. No, that's right. That's all I've got. No further questions. All Thank right. You. Redirect. Oh, oh man. <clears throat> Elaine leaves a trail of blood behind her. It's <laughs> good. Yes. What's that? It's a structured clinical interview. Uh, it's for rendering a diagnosis. It's best for treatment because you're asking direct questions of the examinee and about symptoms. So if you have an examinee who has a tendency to minimize, you're not going to get much information. Why didn't you use it? Because, uh, well, first of all, I had a limited amount of time for my evaluation and I had already had to uh, use just to complete the interview was extremely time consuming. Um, and I had to even restructure it into handouts so that I could keep Ms. Heard on track. I determined based on that. So this is where you would make an inference. So because I was having difficulty um, getting direct answers to my questions from Ms. Hurd. Um, it was uncooperative. I determined that creating forms of those questions would be a better use of the time, which it was. And then I further deduced that adding on the structured clinical interview would probably be unproductive, given that I had limited time and needed to use the best, most reliable methods for getting information in that time. You were asked about the APA specialty guidelines. Yes. Specifically, uh, 1.02 and yes. 1.03. Mm -hmm. Have you complied with them? I have. No further questions. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, Dr. Kerr. You can have a seat in the courtroom. You, You're ready to go. Thank you, ma'am. Well, that was a massacre if the jury followed well, it at all. Her herd can now claim PTSD after that. <laughs> yeah. Resets for 15 minutes. Do not discuss the case and do not do any outside research. Okay. I mean, I, it's hard to say if the jury, um, you know, followed it as, as well as you would want them to, but it's pretty easy to say that just about anybody in that room should know what was like, could get the gist of what was going on. I think they came out of who's on top on that one. Like and Elaine did not seem all right. That was peak cat lady energy right there. That was not a good look for Elaine. Well, yeah. I even made a note that even if I, even if the jury doesn't understand what so she's talking about, Doctor Mommy just Jamie feels asked more believable. Years early as noon, just in case with the fluid of the trial. I'm not sure what time we can get to that motion. So, okay, just to let you know. Which motion? The motion. Yeah, they need to work. TMZ, TMZ probably. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um. So let's go ahead and take a re recess until 10:55. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, it's a 20 minute. -er. I mean, that was, that was just, it was all around devastating. Yeah. I think, uh, that was destruction. I think your assessment is right. The jury's going to, I think the jury's going to see what happened. And even if they don't understand the specifics of it, they've got to go, okay, this, this feels like I should trust this person. This feels like this person is very dangerous. Amber Heard's team feels really hostile uh to this person and i can't figure out why M maybe but i think they i i'm gonna give faith in the jury that they probably can figure out uh without knowing all of the psychology behind it can figure out what was happening because I, I think i think anybody there is gonna be like yeah uh 
she's she's ripping them apart. <laughs> like, yeah, for, yeah. When your only rebuttal is, but you had dinner with Johnny Depp once, that's not a good sign. Like, and, and people understand, like, that's that's work, right? Especially in the COVID era, especially of like being at home. I mean, having dinner with someone doesn't mean you 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 know you, you had a you, you know what? an episode of Brazers, right? I mean, this is not you know what went on at that at that dinner. It's a professional dinner. They ordered take away, take out, like you do at a work job all the time. People order food at work all the time. To try to insinuate that was improper is disgusting. So far out of not bang about more of the frog spirits flow. Get on the floor, so pour out a glass for the team post on Twitter. As we hear lost 